The difference between random discounts and strategic discounts can mean thousands in profit. In this video, I'll show you how to set up every type of Shopify discount step by step so that you can start using them the smart way. And stick around until the end because I'm going to share with you my golden rule of offering discounts, the one formula that guarantees that you never give away more than you can afford. So here's all you need to know about Shopify's discounts. If you want to manage your discounts, you're going to go inside your Shopify's dashboard and you're going to go to the discounts tab right here. You're going to click on that and you're going to be sent to your discounts area. Well, in here, you're going to have all the discounts that you've created. And if you've never created a discount and you still have some items in here, don't worry. They were not created by someone else. They are created by apps because nowadays apps can also create discounts for you. In my case, I have these at the top, which were created by me. And if I scroll down, I have this one, which has this icon over here after sale created this one. If I scroll lower, I'm going to find this one created by a different app. Then I have this one created by a different app and so on. So first of all, you're going to have the discount name at the top. This one again is created by me. This one's going to have random discount names because these apps are creating unique discounts that can be used only once usually. So they will have different names. First of all, you have the name here. Then you're going to have a, a summary of what the discount is. So the offer inside it, then you're going to have the status over here. And this says if the discount code is active on the store. So if someone can actually use it to discount one of their orders, next we have the method of the discount and we have automatic or we have a code. If I scroll down here, we have this one, which is also created by me. And as you can see, it is manual in the sense that the customer will have to actually copy this code and paste it inside their checkout process. And the one that says automatic, this one applies without having to add that code inside the checkout process. And I'm going to show you that in a second. Next to that, we're going to have the type of the discount and we have amount of order. We have buy X, get Y. We have amount of products and we have shipping discounts. So these are the types and in combinations, you'll be able to see if you've allowed this discount to combine with other discounts so that customer can actually use multiple discount codes on the same order. In this case, we can combine this discount code with other discount codes with product discount codes, with order discount codes, or with shipping discount codes. And you have the icons for them here. If we look down below at this one over here, this one combines with order discounts and with shipping discounts, but it does not combine with product discounts. And we have another example here. This one combines with product discounts and with shipping discounts, but not with order discounts. Next to combinations, we have how many times the discount codes were used. This number over here will represent that. In my case, this is a development store and this discount codes were not used. But if people have been using this discount codes, the number of times those discount codes were used will be displayed here. Now, if you want to manage one of the discount codes that you see on your list here, you can just click on it. And inside you're going to have all the details for it. You're going to have here a summary of everything that was set up on this discount. Then at the bottom, you're going to have the logs for this discount code. If you want to see who created the discount code, who changed the discount code, who enable it or disable it, you're going to have everything in here. And if you want to activate or disactivate one of these discount codes, you just have to go here to more options. You have here the option to deactivate. If I click now deactivate this discount code, will say expired and people won't be able to use it anymore. If I want to enable it again, I just click on more actions and then activate and it will reactivate my discount code and people will be able to use it once again. Now, if you want to go and create some of these discount codes, you can do from right here. So under the discount tab, you're going to have this window at the top. You're going to have this create discount button. You're going to click that. And in here, you're going to have the four types of discounts that you can create. So you're going to have amount of products buy X, get Y amount of order and free shipping. And if you have something like this underneath, these are the apps that are allowed to create discount codes on your Shopify store. If you see different types of discount codes here, these are the discount codes that can be created through this app. 
and they can be used through this app. So if I go now and I click on one of these, I won't be able to create a discount code, but I will be able to create a campaign inside the app. This serve like a shortcuts for this app to create those campaigns. And it doesn't mean that you can actually go ahead and create a, an actual discount code. The actual discount codes can be created by clicking one of these four options at the top. And again, all of these are actually a variation of these. So you can see we have buy X, get Y, buy X, get Y. The only difference is that this one gets created through the app and you will have to set up a campaign inside the app if you click this. And this at the top will actually create a standard Shopify discount code. And to create a standard Shopify discount code, you're gonna choose one of these four options and you're gonna click on one. I'm gonna click on the first one. And this is how the creation page looks like. As I said before, there are two methods for the discount code, either automatic or a code that you can actually copy and paste and add inside the checkout process. Whenever creating one of these discount codes, this is the first question that you will have to answer. Is it a normal discount code that will generate a code that you can copy and paste, or is an automatic discount that will get applied on the checkout once the customer does certain things? So first I'm gonna create the normal type of discount code that you can copy and paste. So you're gonna choose this option and you're gonna add the discount code in here. You can say something like welcome 10 and this can be used by new customers. They can get 10% off if they are using this discount code. And to define that, we're going to go lower to the discount value. And here we're going to keep a percentage and we're going to say here 10. And this will ensure that they will actually get 10% off if they use this discount code. You can also give a fixed amount off. For example, if you select here fixed amount and you say $10, then the customers will be able to discount $10 of their product. But I usually go with percentages because that's easier. And then underneath, you're going to be able to select the products that this actually apply to. And you can select specific collections or specific products. And once you selected all your collections or all your products in here, you can click on add. Then you're going to have listed here all the options that you've selected. And at the bottom, you're going to have eligibility and eligibility means that you're going to be able to sort the, the customers that can use this discount. Then you're going to have specific customer segments. And if you select this, you're going to be able to browse through the segments you have on your store. You can create this discount code for customers who haven't purchased from you yet. Then customers who have purchased more than once abandoned checkouts in the past 30 days, email subscribers, customers who have purchased at least once. So if you want to address this discount code to a certain group of customers, you can do from right here, but I don't want to do that. And I can also go and select specific customers. I mean, if I know their names, I can browse here, I can find them, and then I can assign this discount code just for them. And to be able to do that, the customer should have already bought something from you so that you can have them inside your system. And because I want to make this eligible for everyone, I'm just going to select all customers at the top. And now anyone that has this discount code can apply it. Then down below, we're going to have the minimum purchase requirements. If we want, we can set here a minimum purchase amount in order for this discount to work. So if the customer doesn't reach that minimum purchase amount, the discount code will not be eligible for them. This way we can entice people to buy a little bit more so that they reach that limit. So let's say that for a 10% discount, we will require the customer to spend at least $20. To do that, you're gonna select here minimum purchase amount and you're gonna add in here $20. This way, if they buy a product that costs $19, for example, this discount code won't be eligible for them. But if they buy something over $20, then yes. In here, we can also set the minimum quantity of items. And this means that this discount code will only apply to their cart if they meet this requirement. Let's say if I add here two products, they will be required to buy at least two products in order for this discount code to be usable for them. But let's say I don't want to add a minimum requirement. I'm going to say no minimum requirement here. Next, we have maximum discount uses. Let's say that we don't want to give this discount unlimited times. So we just want to give 
a discount for 10 times, for example. I'm going to select the option that limits the number of times this discount code can be used. And I'm going to specify in here the number that I want. And if I don't want that my customers use this discount code multiple times on multiple occasions, I can just go here and limit the usage of the discount code to just once per customer. So once they've used this discount code, they won't be able to use it again. Now, I don't want to actually limit the number of times this discount code can be used. So I'm going to uncheck this option, but I'm going to leave this one on because I want the customers to be able to use this discount code just once. Then underneath, we're going to have combinations. And in here, we're going to be able to allow this discount code to combine with different other discount codes that we might have on our store, like product discount codes, like order discount codes, like shipping discount codes. You have to do your math and see if combine this discount codes that you have on your store don't create unexpected reductions. You have here at the bottom a notification and the number of discounts that this discount will combine with once these options are turned on. You'll have to check them out and make sure nothing unexpected will happen. Once that's done, if you scroll down, you're going to have the dates when this discount will be active. So you can actually schedule when this discount code will go live and when it will will go inactive. We have here at the top the starting time. This is right now. You can set it an hour later, a day later from now. And then if you want to set an end date for it, you're going to check this box here and you're going to add in there the end date. Once everything's done, you can scroll back up and you're going to have here a summary of this discount code. And if everything looks fine to you, you can go ahead and you can save it. Once I've done that, the discount code got activated. And if I go back in the list of discount codes that I have, I can see it right here and I can just copy it like that. I can click on this icon right here and I can send it to customers through an email campaign or something similar. And once they have the discount code, they just can go to my store and they can apply the discount code either through the checkout integration. Now Horizon theme has this, but other themes might not have it on the Horizon theme. They can just go and add the discount code right in the side cart over here. So if I paste now the discount code in there and I click apply, the code will be applied to this cart and then the customer could check out or if you're using an older theme, the customer could check out and then on the checkout process, they can go ahead and add the discount code in there, click apply and then the discount code will be applied inside here and they could just buy the item using this discount code. Now, once the discount code created, you cannot change the method. So if I click here, I cannot change it to an automatic discount code. But let me show you how you can create an automatic discount code. And I'm going to create a similar one. So I'm going to click on create discount and amount of products. And then I'm going to create it as an automatic discount. I'm going to say here, welcome. And I, I'm going to say 15 and I'm going to add here 15% off and then I'm going to set everything else up. So I've set up everything similarly to the other discount code. I only added 15 instead of 10 and I'm going to save this discount code. You're going to see it in the list here as automatic. If I go now to my store and I add this product to cart now inside the cart, I will see that the discount code was already applied. If I go to the checkout, the uh, discount code is already applied in there. So this is how automatic discount codes work. They will automatically apply to your cart once you reach the criteria set inside the discount. So the bottom line is that you have these four types of discounts, amount of products, buy X, get Y, amount of order, and free shipping. These are the differences. First, we have amount of products. That means that you are discounting items. Then we have buy X and get Y. This one means that if a customer buys one product, they will get a different one for free or discounted. And I'm going to show you real quick how you can do that. You're going to have here the triggering product. So if customers buy one of this product, so backpack, then customer gets and you're going to specify the number of gifts you want to give. So one, they will get one cap for that. So if they buy this, they will get uh, this 
and we're going to determine here for how much less they will get the second product you can add in here the percentage you want to to give as a discount you can also mark it as for free this way you give this cap for free so buy x get y now of course you can limit this and you can say that this can happen one time per order then you have eligibility again which customers are eligible for this campaign then the maximum discount uses then the combinations and the dates that we want this active on i'm going to just save it like that and i forgot to add a discount code here let's make it an automatic discount add the title so free cap for backpack and this is just a name this is not the discount code but will appear on the page so if i save this now and if i go to my store this code is now active if i go to my store and i add one of these backpacks so i'm going to remove this cap from there and i'm going to add one backpack you're going to see that nothing happened and this is the limitation with automatic discount codes there is no way that you can actually notify the customer that they are eligible for a gift i've actually created a couple of solutions for this a gift with purchase pop-up you can find the link in the description for that if you're interested so if you are setting up an automatic discount code you should let the customer know that they are eligible for that gift either through messages or banners across your site or a pop-up like i created again you have the link in the description so now in order for me to actually receive the free gift i will have to close this and navigate to the products if i go and i add this product to cart and i open the cart i can see that this product is actually for free but you see how this is not very intuitive so if you're using automatic discounts you either have to communicate very well with your customers or you'll have to use a solution like the pop-up that i've created and next is amount of order discounts this is similar to amount of products but just applied to the entire order you can create this also as an automatic discount or as a code and you have all the settings we talked about already finally we have the free shipping discount code you can create it as a code that people can paste to the, their checkout then you can create it as an automatic discount code if they reach a certain level the code will be automatically added then we have the countries where this can be applied then you can exclude shipping rates over a certain amount you can add the amount in there eligibility minimum purchase requirements maximum discount uses and combinations we talked about all of this okay now here's a simple rule that will keep your discounts profitable i call this the safe discount formula and it goes something like this the maximum discount you can offer is equal with the gross margin divided by two and here's how that works your gross margin is what's left after product cost so if you sell something for $100 and it costs you $60, your gross margin is 40%. Divide that by two and you stay safe. Half goes to the discount. The other half covers your business costs, shipping, ads, salaries, and leaves you with some profit. Example, you sell a product for $100. It costs you $60. That's 40% margin. Half of that is 20%. So your maximum safe discount is 20%. Your discounted price is now $80. By using only half of your margins, you cover operating costs, unexpected expenses, and still keep some profit from every sale. You can, of course, go deeper temporarily for strategic reasons, clearing inventory or acquiring a new customer. But for regular promotions, this formula keeps your business healthy. If you want to learn more about running and optimizing your Shopify store, click that video and I'll see you there.